Good evening, guys. Uh, tonight I'm going to do a peppermint pie. This is one of my favorites, but like the other pie, I can't have any of it because it's going to a Christmas charity dinner. I uh, crushed up my peppermint. You're going to need eight ounces of that. And what I did is I just bought the little fluff, puff peppermints. You can get these in the hard candy and the soft. This is the hard. The reason I buy the hard is because it seems like it has more peppermint in it. The soft just doesn't really taste like peppermint to me. But anyway, we're going to use that. And right now, we're going to get our uh, whipped topping done. Okay, another thing I did is I took some um, non-flavored gelatin and I'm blooming it in a little bit of milk and we're going to set that to the side because we're going to be using that. Alright, so one fourth cup of sugar, one teaspoonful of vanilla. I let it spoil over like that because it's only, I can only find my half a teaspoon. So that's why I let it spill over like that. All right, then two cups of heavy cream. I'm using two cups. It's supposed to be a cup and a half, but I'm using two cups because I need a little bit extra for another pie. So I figured instead of doing all of this in different Spaces that I would just do a little extra and have it on me. Alright, so I'm going to shut this off until we get this done and then we'll set this to the side. So when this is done, I'll be right back. Alright, so now we got the whipped topping done and I'm going to set this in the refrigerator and give me just a few minutes to get all my other stuff together. We'll be ready to go. Alright, guys. Now, we're going to take a pan and put it on the stove, and we're going to put about one-fourth cup of cream in it. And I got the burner on very low. And then we're going to add our peppermint candy to that. And we're just going to keep coming back, slowly warming it and stirring it until all that candy has melted. It's going to be a little while so let's come back when this is all melted and we'll go from there. Remember eight ounces of crushed peppermint candy in one fourth cup of cream and warm it up until and just keep going until all your candy's melted. Alright guys we're really really close to all of the candy chunks melting. There's still some in there. It'll take a little bit longer. But now that most of it is already melted, what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to add some of the gelatin that I bloomed. I'm going to put about two tablespoons in there. You don't have to use that much if you don't want to. And then we're going to stir that in. And the reason I'm doing it now is I want that gelatin to have time to melt and mix in real good with that cream. Because you want that gelatin completely melted and very well mixed in. And just kind of keep stirring it for a little bit to make sure that that gelatin is all through your cream. And plus it helps your candy melt faster. Alright, now that we got all that melted, you do not want to add this to your cream while it's warm or it will deflate your cream. So what we're going to do, I'm going to cover it with a tea towel and we're going to set it to the side and let it cool down. But you don't want to let it get too cool 
because the candy will turn back hard again. So you have to be really careful. So we're just going to put it to the side and cover it. All right, guys, here we go. And we're just hoping that our, our uh, candy's cool enough. So we're just going to pour it in with our um, Cool Whip. And you got to make sure that this is cool, because if you don't, it's going to ruin your whip topping. It'll make it go flat. It won't be worth 10 cents. So make sure that your candy mixture is cool. All right. So now we're going to fold this in and hope for the best. I think it was cool enough. Oh, doesn't that look cool? Uh, looks like a candy cane stripe, right? just like that, doesn't it? All right. Now we got our graham cracker crust here. And now we're going to pour it into our crust. Oh, it smells good. I love the smell of peppermint. All right, let's get it leveled out here. is killing me all right and there we go and now look at that beautiful pink color isn't that pretty now we're gonna put it in the refrigerator and we gotta let it set and then we'll get it finished off so when it once it's set we'll be back to finish it off all right guys she's ready so let's get her finished off here Of course, like I said in the last one, I uh, accidentally left some in the bowl, so I accidentally ate it on the way to the sink. My gosh. Whoever gets this pie tomorrow is a lucky, lucky person. I may have to come back and make one just for myself, but I can't do that because I know me. I'll eat the whole pie. straightened out here I hope each and every one of you have a fantastic Christmas and I hope you eat so much that Santa would be jealous and I hope you enjoy your family and friends that you have around you most of all I hope you remember that it's Jesus birthday that's what we need to remember all right, now we got the frosting on it. Now we're going to sprinkle some of the peppermint that I had crushed up on the top. Make it look pretty. I'll tell you what, this pie is so good, you can't get any closer to Christmas with this pie if you if you weren't chewing on Santa's beard that's how close to Christmas this is it's beautiful all right I think I'd be good enough right there what do you guys think peppermint pie so good so pretty guys I hope you make it. I hope you enjoy it. And if you like peppermint, give it a, a try. You're really going to enjoy this pie. 
Merry Christmas, everybody, and Happy New Year. Enjoy your family time, your friend time. Enjoy your Jesus time. Good night, everybody.